Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Cosmeteer. This is the game that's just come out that we're having a look at today. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of it on the back. I played a lot of it actually last night because it's, it's very fun. It's very cool. It's got a lot of cool different mechanics from all over the place jammed together to make a, a game that uh, once you play it, you come to realize you never knew you wanted it, but now you do. Um, let's jump in and I'll show you some stuff from the beginning. Creative mode, we're not really interested in, but that's, you know, just free for all, do whatever. Whereas career is the actual core. You can fiddle with all your settings, but we will put everything on default. You've got uh, three starting ships, but to be honest, it's not really that big a deal what you take. This one will, this one will do. Because a huge part of this game, similar to something like Avorian, except this is a lot more punchy. This is a lot more accessible. Avor it, it, it trims a lot of the fat, right? Not that I'm having a go at Avorian. It's just when you compare the two, well, you know, someone's got to come out on top. Uh, we've got this picture-in-picture picture of our own ship while we cruise around. And you can just sort of just right-click and your ship drives all over the place. And then you've got these uh, here. If you go to build mode, you can basically just build and rearrange on the fly. Here are the bits that we have unlocked. Uh, well, we need blueprints for them. So the colored in ones we have. So not a lot. We've got point defense, fire extinguisher. We've got thrusters, the cockpit. And if you mouse over them, it tells you everything you need to know. So the cockpit adds uh, these command points, which is essentially your build limit. Um, and you can see over here how much you've got you got recommended crew based on just the general layout of the ship and the bits and bobs in it and power requirements as well. Speaking of that, we might as well jump onto that. Here's our, here's our bloody crew. So if we unpause it, they're not really got much to do at the moment. So they're just loitering. This dude's sitting in the cockpit doing his thing. And then we got these blokes in the little gun stations. So when you mouse over them, you can see here it's got these lines and it's telling you nearest crew, nearest power. So power is not wired. Power is more that it generates little power packets and the dudes manually carry them to the to the little areas, right? Um, it's more interested in being a game mechanic than anything else, right? So all these, you can see you've got like RCS thrusters. The more of those you have, the better for more maneuverability. But all of them need power uh, access. And you can see the line's green here because it's right next door. All they got to do is just carry it there. Whereas up the front, it's yellow. And that's the game sort of warning you, hey, man, you might be pushing the limit because if you're firing your laser away and it needs more, well, ammo effectively because there's no ammo for a laser, um, you probably want a power source closer. So it's very much many hands make light work. It's a cool mechanic in, in practice, right? It's very ant farm. Um, and you can see there... Is it suggesting slightly more crew? Probably, yeah. So even though we've got all these slots crewed and we've got a whole cabin of idle dudes, they're just gonna be busy work carrying things around. So yeah, the supply of crew and the supply of power are the main things that you build your ship upon. You can see here as well, we've got bunk beds to increase our population. Uh, the reactor, getting another reactor is really expensive. You can get a capacitor, which is essentially just storage for power. So you can tactically place, we could probably put that further up the front of the ship. Um, and what they'll do is they'll take power out and load it up. So it's not a generator, your generation rate would be the same, but you can overstore, you know, like a battery. Here you can see you've got like little production rooms that you could make. We'll get to that, but essentially, you can make your own ammo, your own repair to stuff, all that based on things that you scavenge. Um, this is storage here. See, the more of that you need, the, the better. I mean, it's, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and we've got some other things that are unlockable as well. You can use some structural building stuff, but you can also build armor in as well. Shield generators, there's a whole bunch of crap. Um, something worth mentioning is cannons, right? Rockets, that sort of stuff. These things that will need dedicated storage to load ammo, you run out of ammo, you're all over, and you can manufacture ammo as well. So you can essentially make your ship into a giant fucking factory, and you can see you've got a lot of place, uh, a space to play with. Uh, you can build doors and corridors, that sort of stuff. Uh, what else? We'll, we'll check here. You've got your cargo management, which is pretty rudimentary, pretty, it works fairly well. C is for crew management. You can create different archetypes with different sort of, um, can, can we just look here? 
No. Let's say we go here. Job priorities, right? So it's very much RimWorld, their work order. So you can have dedicated, you know, power dudes or or guys to sit on the gun or something like that, right? Let's get rid of that. I like that it's called a red shirt by default. That's very cute. Um, and then you've got hail, right? Now, if you see where we are, we're right near this station. And you've got these little pop-ups are really handy. You can unpause, you can speed it up to like times eight. If you go and hail a nearby station, You've got a bunch of bounties, and the, the that's the relative strength there as well. So as you level up, you, you want to get uh, more and more capable as a ship to take on bigger threats. Um, what else? This is how you can hire more people, right? And that's all set by your fame. Up here is your... You can see up the top right, I can't mouse over it, it won't let me. But you've got your credits, your, your, your money in pocket, and that's mostly for repairs and buying blueprints and that sort of stuff. Um, and your current reputation level, your fame level, and that will cap out essentially. So it's a sort of a, it's a soft cap to how much crew you're allowed to put on your ship full stop. Not just by bunk beds, but just generally speaking. Um, let's see. Here you can trade, right? It's pretty rudimentary, just buy and sell. And this is where you unlock more blueprints as well. So you want, want the cannon, that sort of thing. You want to get factory construction. Right. So, getting the ball rolling, probably just grab a bounty, right? Except, um, plus 20, limit 40. Hang on, let me see. I wonder what the limit means. Because it also, it, you will get to a point where if your ship is too jacked, and I'm not sure how they do it, it must be sort of like colony value from RimWorld, that um, the destroying little level one dudes is not going to reward you fame anymore, all right? So your fame will sort of cap out. Anyway, so we've taken that, destroy this bloody bottom feeder dude. You can click on it, and then you can just right click to go over there. And off we go, drive our little ship. When we get closer, it'll slow down. So we'll just, what you can do is just click on him and off you go, it'll fight on its own. You can see the exterior view of our ship. If we zoom right in, we can see his ship. And you can just sort of watch the fight unfold in real time. Watching him works because you can see the damage we're taking. Okay, look, they're drilling straight through the center of our ship. Now, what we could do is, well, he's dead already. And look at the little astronauts and Poor little buggers. Um, you can aim at specific parts of ship. What we'll do is you press G for the salvage button and you can drag like that. And your little dudes will go on an EVA out through the airlocks. Th these little there. If you go in, you can see the airlocks are there. So the airlock needs door access to the gantries inside the ship, right? Oh, that's cool. They have, uh, okay, they have roof access to storage as well. That's interesting. The storage doesn't necessarily need door access unless it's something that you're going to use like ammunition. So there you go. Old mate's got out to power the cockpit and he's getting back in his suit. So yeah, they fly in the top to the airlocks and then they disembark through the doors. Anyway, so now they're loading all that up. We can repair all because we have enough coils and enough metal, but if we were near an outpost, you can use money to carry the difference. So we're, we're very small storage at the moment and just instant repairs our lost parts, right? However, there will be advantages for say, oh, keeping a block of, you know, coils, keeping a block of that, having your own repair tools ready to go to keep you sort of away and fighting for longer. If we wanted to upgrade the ship, Yeah, see, we don't have enough steel. How much do we need? Oh, look, it's it says there. So what if we just speed up? We can just sit in this menu for a sec. What's going on there? Pirates rolling up on us. How's the EVA going? It's going all right. 
So what you can do, just to show it off, is you can emergency recall your dudes back to the ship. And back they come in their little spaceship, spacesuits. There's a lot going on. You can do asteroid mining. And um, there's... Let's bloody... Let's go start some trouble with this dude. See if we can catch him. Oh yeah, he's interested. This asteroid, for example, there are surface... These deposits that you can't actually get at unless you drill them out with a mining drill. How are we going? He's got a point defense. And this disruptor of some sort. Let's blow that up. So you can, you can focus specific systems. Now the lasers don't... The point defense does fuck all damage, but the lasers that we're using don't use don't do a whole lot either. The cannons are nuts; they punch right through, especially if they go through armor plate and they can set fires and all sorts of crap. But again, they use ammunition. Let's just disable all these guns, and then oh, is he trying to run away? See, you, mate. Same story. Let's uh, send a little EVA out. Nice. Do some crash repairs. Look at that. Storage is starting to fill up with some useful things. Okay. So let's go back to this base and get our payment. So there you go. A pretty basic. And when I say basic, I don't mean it disparagingly. We've talked about this before. The game knows what it's doing, and it's taking what I would call an appropriate bite of the pie. It's not trying to give us 10,000 mechanics that sort of, kind of, maybe are fun and half work. It, it, it's purely focused on, this is what we're here to do. Here are the handful of mechanics that make this game, and we're going we're gonna to fucking nail it. Um, it's really good. There we go. So we got 15 fame. It says plus 20. Plus 10. Let's see. Plus 20. I don't understand what the limit is. Like, are they repeatable quests or something like that? Because that's why I clicked on like that. That This is way too high for us, right? Plus 45. Limit 440. So I don't know what to make of that. Anyway, let's accept this one. Plus 20. We'll try and remember that. Well, I guess if we click on it, will it tell us? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, let's, uh, we've got $7,000 burning a bloody hole in my back pocket. We could put another laser here. Yeah. What do you reckon about crew? Suggested 11. And I think we've got max crew at the moment. This music's pretty funky. And the layout of the ship's actually pretty solid at the moment. But I mean, it could be more square. You know what I mean? So handy, just moving it around. Um, I think if I right click that, I can copy it. Probably do something wild like that. got the door access. We're all good. Yeah, see, this could use more closer power. So what we could maybe do is, uh, uh where's the capacitor? Let's do that. And then let's just go door, uh, 
spares. You know what I mean? It adds up the doors. There we go, so look, that's cool. We're getting green ticks. So that's interesting, they, 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 there's no crew requirement there. It just comes from there, which is cool. Obviously, like for example, these need to be crewed. This doesn't, these don't, they just need deliveries. Um, I don't know, that seems like a, a cool start. Let's see, let's watch them fill it up. See, there you go, they're taking the power to all the things that I just moved. And you can, I like the little yellow. Oh, there you go, that, that shows you how much power storage they have. You can see the little bips. The very functional UI. And presumably once they've powered all that, they're going to start filling the capacitor up. So good, eh? All right, I love it. Let's go. Let's go cause some trouble. Eliminate pirates. We've got our extra laser gun. Something worth noting is the power draw will have suggested power, so we're pretty good. Oh, you know what? We're short crew. Just because I bought the storage doesn't mean we have the crew. Let's go back. Because we've still got a little bit of money. We'll go hail. Uh, crew. Higher max. There you go. And we've got to wait for them to EVA across. So let's not leave them behind. You can see down here, it warns you if they're not there, if they're EVA. Ooh, who's this bloody... That's not the dude, is it? Let's go fuck this guy up on the way. Oh, it's getting more square. Oh my goodness, how many bloody dudes? And then see, it says one. It, it, it tells you the relative level of them. Yes, keep popping away. Let's go. I'm not that worried about targeting subsystems too much. Though, I think lasers do, like, better damage against subsystems. As we said before, examples, cannons punch through and they can do damage into the ship and start fires, so they can be kind of disruptive. But you've actually got a gun and disrupt door, which doesn't do a lot of damage, but it, it's for disabling systems. So you could come up with, like, a build to do that. Personally, I like the idea of just a bloody gunboat that's out of control. That works for me. I'm tempted to even see if broadsiding works. Let's see what the ship's AI does when I give two, you know, sides of guns. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's EVA while we're here. Just got to keep an eye on the... Oh, can I get a repair in? Oh, I didn't sell any of my shit. Make sure he doesn't roll up on us. Looks like he's just patrolling. Not getting any coils. What's going on there? So I didn't sell any more my stuff. I probably should have. Oh. Well. Oh, you can see there as well that they're, they're sort of picking away at the remaining... Oh, no. Well, if, if there's intact hull, they go in there and, you know, they buddy welding torch and, and, and cut it apart. There we go. All right, looks like we're done. We're repaired. Our tummy's full of repair tools. Let's go start some shit with this bloke. Jesus. Oh, watch out for the bloody 
asteroid. I like that they match speed on, on their own. Like, you have this weird fight through space. Yeah, mess him up. Mate, I'm bloody indestructible. Yeah, so the loop's actually... Dare I say basic? What is this? Okay, we're starting to run out of space, I think. But, um... It works. It works really well. It's got a bit of a mountain blade sort of thing going on. Oh, shit. Shit, everyone back. We're getting shot up. <gasps> I want to wait for the last man. No, fuck him. He can catch up. Oh, wow, we really got mangled there on the side. Oh my god. What's doing the damage? I guess it's point defense. Jesus, we're hurting. Holy shit! Oh my goodness, we're out of guns? Someone fell out of the ship? Because this is the dude we left behind. Oh, we don't want to be here. <gasps> it just hosed that last dude. Poor bloke. Hang on. Let's see. This guy's still got oxygen. We can pick him up. Alright, repairs. Can we get repairs? We can't. Dude, we're so fucked. Um, I could repair individual systems. With what I've got. Like, get our guns up and going again. Though we don't have a lot of crew. How badly is he hurting? Do we... Do we risk it? Let's give him another go. See if we can't take his guns out. God, my ship's struggling to get an angle with this gun. There we go. Fuck me. Alright, we got him. But so much of our crew got mangled. Pretty much got one dude doing deliveries and one dude driving. All right. Let's scrounge up some. So oh god, that better be friendly. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. What's a level three ship look like, eh? He's got the big cannon in the middle. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool design. You know, you can see the you can see the little dudes in the cockpit sitting in there. It's very cool. Um, you can get to a point where you do like hyperspace jumps as well, and you leave this sector. So, yeah, show hide galaxy map, right? So it gets very large scale. You can see, look at the the levels as well. Eleven, and we're we're down here in one to three. Beta Chimplum. How high is it go? Eight. I'm seeing 18 out here. Yeah. Now, if, if you're not... Uh, like, the, the loop isn't exactly super duper complicated. So I could see an argument for maybe people getting bored playing this. After a while. But I, I feel like you probably get your money's worth first. Yeah, see, look. They're going to deconstruct that. It's so good. I guess we're full. Co uh. We're short coils. Are there any there? There's none. No. That's okay. We completed our mission. Let's go back. 
Though we suffered heavy casualties. Oh, my ship's uh, stuck on the bloody asteroid. So I didn't really pay a huge amount of attention to how the damage went down. I suppose, you know, I think a lot of my guys got hosed trying to get into the airlock. Um, so what, what could we do about that? Like, because I, I feel like test and adjust as a design philosophy is big. We could probably <clears throat> centralize our airlocks, for starters, right? Like, uh, well, let's, let's actually just cash in this mission so we've got some money. Because getting into the airlock, they don't necessarily have to do that from the edge. Alright. Let's repair. So let's say... <clears throat> well, the airlock... We can't really put it there because it will block transit. We don't really want to block transit, do we? Yeah, there's not a lot of other places for it, I suppose, is the issue. I mean... Right? And then where could we put the fire system? I can't really put doors there. But I, I suppose it's the the fun of it, right? Is is oh well, I guess we could put this here. Right, he's coming up with a system that kind of works. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It's not square enough. I want my giant floating square. Uh, hire more people, and now we're bloody poor. I mean, I guess we could. I guess we could sell on a bunch of our stuff. Hypercoils, enriched uranium. 13 grand! Oh my goodness, let's go. I wonder if we can afford more crew or if we maxed out. Let's just double check. There we go, we can hire more. There's there's max beds. So yeah, I think I think people understand how this game works, right? You can do mining, we didn't really touch on that. You can get like a mining laser and what that will do is like, um, oh, I don't know, can we see an asteroid from here? Not really. But if the asteroid's a big blob entity like this, you dudes can only pick up so many of resources from the edges of it. You need a mining laser to sort of auto-delete. And, and it works well as well. You just target the asteroid and the laser will chip out chunks and your dudes will go pick it up. So it's all very automated and, it, and it's functional, which is great. Um, anyway, all in all, a great game that I set up playing well past midnight. <laughs> so I, I recommend it. You should check it out. Um, team, let me know what you reckon. Uh, otherwise, I might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.